What if the end of the world as we know it was imminent? Would we recognize the signs? Welcome to our deep dive into the concept of Armageddon. What is it about the end of the world that intrigues us? That fills us with a sense of dread and fascination? Is it because it's the ultimate unknown, the final frontier of human experience? Or is it that we have a deep-seated need to understand our own mortality, to grapple with questions of existence and oblivion? These questions, as unsettling as they may be, are at the heart of the concept of Armageddon. The term Armageddon originates from the Bible, specifically from the Book of Revelation. But contrary to popular belief, the original meaning of the term Armageddon is not an event, but rather a place. The term is derived from the Hebrew Har Megiddo, which translates to Mount Megiddo. This location, situated in present-day Israel, is steeped in history and conflict. It has witnessed numerous battles throughout the ages, and thus it is fitting that the Bible describes it as the location for the final battle at the end of times. But this battle is not just any battle. It's described as a cataclysmic event, a conflict so immense that it would lead to the end of the world. It's a scenario of fire and brimstone, of good versus evil, of a world thrown into chaos and destruction. This is the apocalyptic vision that has captured the imagination of countless generations, that has inspired countless works of art and literature, that has fueled countless debates and theories. So, when we talk about Armageddon, we're not just talking about a place. We're talking about a concept that has become deeply ingrained in our collective consciousness, a concept that encapsulates our deepest fears and our most profound questions about life, death, and what lies beyond. So Armageddon was originally a place, not an event, but how did we get from a place to the end of the world scenario? How did a humble location in the Middle East become synonymous with the end of the world? It's a question that leads us on a fascinating journey through history, examining the evolution of the term Armageddon. Originating from the Hebrew word Har Megiddo, Armageddon was initially a geographical site, a mountainous region in Israel. A place of strategic importance, it witnessed numerous battles throughout ancient history. But how did a physical location morph into a symbol for the world's demise? Religion played a significant role. In the Christian Bible, the book of Revelation references Armageddon as the setting for the final battle between good and evil. This imagery was potent, and over time, Armageddon became a metaphor for any catastrophic conflict that could potentially lead to the end of the world. Cultural and social factors further shaped Armageddon's evolution. During periods of war and uncertainty, societies leaned into the concept of Armageddon as a way to express their fears and anxieties about the future. The term became a shorthand for the dread of total annihilation. But Armageddon wasn't just confined to religious texts or societal discourse. It found its way into literature and art, further cementing its place in popular culture. Works of fiction, particularly in the genre of science fiction and fantasy, have often depicted Armageddon as a cataclysmic event, a final reckoning that reshapes the world or brings about its end. Paintings, sculptures, and other forms of visual art have also drawn on this imagery, capturing the fear, the drama, and the spectacle of Armageddon. From a geographical location to a religious prophecy, and then a cultural metaphor, the concept of Armageddon has been influenced and shaped by a myriad of factors over the centuries, it's a testament to the power of ideas, how they can evolve and grow, and how they can resonate with people across different times and cultures. As we've seen, Armageddon has transformed into a concept much larger than its original meaning. But what does it mean today? Today, Armageddon is a term that is often used to describe any catastrophic event that could potentially end human civilization. But is there more to it? In the modern world, Armageddon has taken on a plethora of interpretations, each as chilling as the last. It's no longer confined to the realms of religious prophecy or mythology. Instead, it has morphed into a catch-all term for any event that could spell the end of humanity as we know it. Let's consider nuclear warfare, for instance. The specter of nuclear annihilation has loomed over our heads since the mid-20th century. 
The mushroom cloud, synonymous with devastation and loss, has become a modern symbol of Armageddon. This fear has permeated our culture, influencing everything from literature and film to political discourse and international relations. However, Armageddon isn't just about war and destruction. It can also be about slow, creeping disasters, such as climate change. The image of a parched earth, barren of life, is just as terrifying as a nuclear wasteland. Environmental disasters like massive hurricanes, wildfires, and droughts are increasingly being seen as heralds of a potential Armageddon. These modern interpretations of Armageddon are more than just fear-mongering. They have a profound impact on our society, shaping our collective consciousness and driving us to action. They make us reconsider our relationship with the planet and with each other. They force us to question our priorities and values. In the face of potential Armageddon, we see humanity at its best and worst. We see acts of incredible bravery and selflessness, but also greed and selfishness. We see societies coming together for the common good, but also tearing each other apart. Armageddon, in its modern form, is a mirror held up to humanity, reflecting our hopes, fears, and all the contradictions in between. It's a reminder of our fragility, our resilience, and our potential for both creation and destruction. It's clear that Armageddon has come a long way from its original meaning. But what if the end was truly near? How would we know? If Armageddon were upon us, would we be able to recognize the signs? This question has been a source of both intrigue and anxiety for generations. Across a multitude of religious and cultural traditions, there are countless depictions of the signs and symbols associated with the end times. In the Christian tradition, the Book of Revelation outlines a series of dramatic events, including wars, natural disasters, and the rise of a deceptive global leader. In contrast, Norse mythology describes Ragnarok, a great battle that results in the death of major gods and the submersion of the world in water. Meanwhile, many Native American traditions speak of a time when the earth will be shaken by powerful forces both physical and spiritual. Despite the diversity of these accounts, there are striking commonalities. War and conflict, for instance, are recurring themes. Whether it's the four horsemen of the apocalypse, the epic clash between gods and giants in Ragnarok, or the battles foretold in Islamic eschatology, the notion of a cataclysmic conflict is nearly universal. Natural disasters are another shared symbol. Earthquakes, storms, floods and fires are seen as harbingers of the end times in many traditions. From the biblical plagues to the cataclysmic events in Hindu end times narratives, the power of nature is often invoked as a sign of approaching Armageddon. Finally, deception is a key theme across many cultures. The rise of a false prophet, the appearance of deceiving spirits, or the spread of lies and misinformation are frequently mentioned. This theme reflects a deep-seated human fear of being misled or manipulated. Whether or not we believe in Armageddon, it's fascinating to see how this concept has shaped our culture and continues to intrigue us. After all, who doesn't love a good end-of-the-world story? Indeed, these shared symbols and themes not only tell us about our fears and hopes, but also shed light on our collective human experience.